Hi guys, today we're going to look at the Mont. The Mont is part of my price mechanism. The other component is supply, but we're not going to look at supply today, only demand. But the interaction between demand and supply forms the market price, and demand and supply together are known as the price mechanism. The definition for demand is the quantities that consumers or purchasers are willing and able to buy at various prices all other things remaining constant we also call all other things remaining constant cetris paribus so in this case only price and quantity demanded are seen as changing causing that movement along the demand curve all other things remain constant so only the price and the quantity are seen as my variable components when we want to draw a demand curve or illustrate a demand curve or a movement along the demand curve i will need to have a demand schedule basically a little table that shows the price and quantity demanded combinations Consumers want the best value for their money in terms of normal products such as food. I'm not talking here about luxury items that increases with value and that you will pay a high price for. So here we're only looking at kind of normal products. So if the price increases, the quantity demanded would drop because consumers don't want to pay more. If the price decreases, obviously the consumers want more. That is how it works. So we say that the demand has, there's a negative relationship between price and quantity demanded. So if the price goes up, quantity demanded goes down. If the price drops, quantity demanded goes up. So also to illustrate it mathematically, if you think about it, we'll illustrate if price increases, that would be a plus and if the quantity demanded drops, it would be a minus. So a minus divided by a plus would give you a minus. So that's how we get the negative or the inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded. This will also illustrate the downward sloping um, of the demand curve. My demand curve is drawn by connecting the dots. It's kind of like that little game or those drawings you used to draw as kids where you had to connect the dots. So here you will just be connecting various price quantity demanded combos to get your demand line or your demand curve. On the one axis you will have price and on the other axis you will have quantity demanded. Just going to the definition of demand, I said the consumers have to be willing and able. How it works is money needs to be linked to that demand of yours. So for example, if you want to go and buy a plasma TV screen, you want that TV screen, but you do not have the money to pay for that TV screen. Then we say that you have a notional demand. You are notionally, you want something, but you don't have the purchasing power to assist with that demand. But in economics, we only look at effective demand when we're dealing with demand. We look at that purchasing power that goes along with your want or your need for that product. A movement along the demand curve is caused by contractions and expansions. Expansion would be if the price decreased, the quantity demanded would go up. A contraction would be 
if the price increased, the quantity demanded would go down. Now I want to look at shifts in my demand curve. These shifts are not caused by price changes in that product. These shifts are caused by other factors and I will explain these factors just now. So it could lead to either an increase in demand to, into a shift outwards or to a decrease in demand which is a shift inwards to the price axis. Factors that causes a shift in my demand curve are things like incomes. So for example, if incomes were to increase in your country, it could lead to greater demand, so an outward shift of demand. But the opposite could also be true. So for example, taxes increased in your country, leading to people having a less disposable income, so that could cause demand to decrease, causing an inward shift of your demand curve. Another factor could be the price change of substitute products. So what is a substitute product? Well, basically a substitute product is anything that I can replace with something else giving me the same satisfaction of a want or a need. For example, stupid example, butter and margarine. If the price of butter was to increase, it would lead to an increase in the demand for margarine because you would swap to the cheaper brand if you were budget sensitive. That is a substitute. And then we have complements. So complementary or joint demand type of products. Example would be a printer and ink cartridges. So if the price of the printer was to increase, it would lead to the demand for ink cartridges decreasing. So we say that complementary products have a negative relationship in terms of price and quantity of the other product. Then we have changes in fashion and tastes. So if we're looking at the fashion industry, if consumers want my particular product because they, it's just fashionable to have my product, then they would demand more. But if the market changes and fashion changes but not in my favour, it could lead to my product's demand decreasing. Another factor is advertising. If you advertise more or you spend more money in terms of your marketing budget, it could lead, not necessarily, it could lead to an increase in the demand. If you spend less on marketing in crucial times, then it could lead to your demand dropping. Then other factors we can take into consideration is a change in weather. I have had a case where we did a little marketing project where I had some students and they had to actually go and sell products at a market day. And this one particular team or group actually went and sold ice cream on the coldest of days and they sold I think one cup of ice cream. So weather really has an impact on demand as well. If you think about it, in winter you want or you will demand heaters, right? But in summer you might not do the same thing. There you might demand more fans. Thank you guys for watching. Please go and like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys. See you again. Bye.